In this video, you will learn how to create reports, schedule reports, and create dashboards from Mainframe Team Center Operational Intelligence. As an administrator or a Level 2 specialist who is responsible for mainframe systems, you must stay ahead of time to understand the performance of your mainframe systems, know the factors that affect transactions, detect levels of overusage that can impact application performance negatively, and eventually bring the application down, impacting service level agreement values. It is impossible to manually monitor the performance of your systems and applications and predict if there's a surge in systems usage. Let us look at a day in the life of a level 2 specialist, Sheila. She is responsible for detecting issues that impact service level agreements values. She is responsible for the performance of Headmoral Bank's ATM transactions. She receives a call from an L1 support analyst that customers have been complaining about the slow response of Headmoral Bank's ATM transactions. Harry is a level 3 expert whose responsibility is to maintain resource health, isolate and triage issues, partner with Sheila to fix issues that impact service level agreement values, run resources optimally, and reduce mean time to resolution. Sheila logs into MTCOI to quickly view the performance of the CPU usage percentage, which is one of the key performance indicators of the mainframe system that supports the ATM transactions of Headmoral Bank. She observes from the green highway chart that there has been a surge in the CPU usage percentage of the ZOS system. To monitor the performance of CPU usage percentage of the mainframe system, she creates a report for Harry that will help them view the state of the CPU and take corrective actions. She navigates to the reports page and clicks Create Report. She selects System Operational Domain as the data source. She intends to monitor the CPU usage percentage of the ZOS processor for a specific period of a specific ZOS system instance and therefore selects CPU percentage, timestamp, and ZOS system. The new ad hoc view window equips Sheila to create a table, chart, or a cross tab. She decides to create a chart. She adds CPU percentage in the column field. She adds timestamp in the rows. She creates filters to narrow down her search. She adds a filter for timestamp and moves the rows slider bar to ensure that all the rows are included in the chart. She then specifies the time range between which she intends to view the CPU usage percentage and applies the filter. She specifies the chart type as time series. The chart displays the CPU usage percentage for the specified date range. She wants to narrow down to an hourly view to know the exact time when the surge took place. She sees that there has been a significant surge in CPU usage percentage at a specific time. Sheila also has the option to export the report in various formats. She adds a title, saves the ad hoc view and the associated report. The report is now listed in the reports page and is available for scheduling. She schedules the report to run every week on a specific time. She specifies that the reports be delivered in Excel and PDF formats to her and Harry in the form of an attachment in an email. She then saves the schedule by providing a name and description. Sheila and Harry receive the reports in Excel and PDF formats in an email every week. Harry decides that CPU usage percentage is not the only metric that he needs to monitor. With the help of the reports that Sheila has already created, he decides to create a dashboard that helps him monitor the performance of a few more metrics such as address spaces, demand page in rate, LPAR MSU percentage, spool track groups percentage and total IOs per hour of the ZOS system for a specific time and adds the required filters.
the parameter mapping lets Harry apply a common set of filters for all the dashlets. He then saves the dashboard by providing a name and description. Harry navigates to the dashboard page to add the new tabbed dashboard. Sheila has now provided Harry with faster access to data from a single system dashboard that lets him build correlation between multiple metrics that contribute to the performance of the ZOS system at any instant and take corrective actions. You have now learned how to create reports, schedule reports, and create dashboards in mainframe Team Center Operational Intelligence. Thank you for watching this video.